Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health and well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 28 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system it's a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to get off your medications and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Our number is 855-660-4261. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 855-660-4261 is our number. If we've left you on hold yesterday or the day before and you call in today, just tell the call screener that you were left on hold. We'll get you first up at 855-660-4261. Try to call in early so we can squeeze in as many calls as possible at 855-660-4261. If you're interested in joining the Brightside Ben team, love to have you on my team. Call the Brightside Ben, Brightside ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, earn some thank you checks, and just get your products at the wholesale price. If you so desire, you can help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program as well and get a lot of good information yourself. We're always sharing information. That's what we're about at Longevity, spreading the word and helping share information and education about the power of a good nutritional supplement program. Speaking of sharing information, every Sunday, I want to welcome you to uh, or invite you to join us on our Sunday phone calls, myself and Dixie Sedgwick. Every Sunday, we do a pick a particular topic and we do a 20 minute or so uh, talk on one subject or another and then we take questions for the last 10 minutes. It's a half hour phone call. We covered um, a Swero V three day cleanse a couple of weeks ago. A couple of days ago we did androgenic alopecia, so called male pattern baldness, which also affects women. We've covered ALS and diabetes and the healthy start pack and essential fatty acids to uh, this coming week we'll do degenerative joint disease. If you're interested in joining us on our phone call, the dial in number is 605-562-3140. That's 605-562-3140, participant access code 444-973-POUND, 444-973-POUND, and that's every Sunday, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. All right, we are talking about the nature of prostaglandins and fats and signaling and hormone health. Last we spoke, we were talking about the nature of oppositions in the body, how there's various antagonistic processes that balance each other out. You've got blood vessels opening and blood vessels closing. They call it constriction and dilation, closing and opening, opening and closing, and these are all regulated by prostaglandins partially. You've got relaxing and contracting of muscles, once again, regulated by prostaglandins, and perhaps most significantly in terms of opposing chemistry in the body, you've got inflammation and anti-inflammation, once again, regulated at least partially by prostaglandins. Prostaglandins are signaling molecules, the hormones like, if you, hormone like, if you uh, understand what hormones are, they, they're like little, little uh, a doorbell switches, or they, they ring a doorbell, I should say, on a cell, and by ringing that doorbell, a reaction occurs in a cell. A cell's like a 3D printing machine. It's always printing stuff. It's making things. That's what a cell does with its life. It makes stuff. 
But it doesn't just make stuff willy-nilly. It doesn't just make stuff on its own. It makes stuff in response to little switches being turned on on the outside coating of that cell. Those switches that get turned on are called receptors. And what turns on the switches are called hormones. And there's lots of different hormones. The ones we've been talking about now are called prostaglandins. And they're super important, especially, as I say, for the inflammatory process. Inflammation, as we are told, is behind a lot of what we call the disease process. But what this health truism about inflammation and disease doesn't really address is the fact that the inflammatory process is always occurring. Inflammation at the microscopic level is very, very important. It's not a bad guy. Excessive inflammation, out of balance inflammation, inappropriate inflammation, chronic inflammation, long-term inflammation, indeed that is a problem. But inflammation that occurs on a day-to-day -day regular basis as part of the body's a, a way of doing business, just business as usual for the body is just a normal protective response and it's part of the healing process and it's an important part of biochemistry. The relationship between anti-inflammation and inflammation is a balancing act. It's a balancing act between inflammation and anti-inflammation and this balancing act is supposed to be regulated by the appropriate production and the appropriate ingestion of substances that induce the production of prostaglandins. That's basically food. It's basically food, in these days, supplements that are going to induce the production of prostaglandins and induce the production of the right balance of prostaglandins. Throughout history, and by throughout history, I mean up until about 10,000 or 12,000 years ago, throughout most of human or, or humanoid history, our ancestors weren't exactly Homo sapiens, but um, our ancestors, Australopithecus and uh, uh, Homo habilis, and whatever they call these uh, human ancestors back in the day, 100,000 years ago, 500,000 years ago, they were eating, our ancestors were eating a balance of foods, or the type of foods that provided the appropriate balance of prostaglandin inducing substances, specifically fats. We ate a lot of fish, we ate nuts. We ate natural foods that were growing out of the ground. And these kinds of foods provided us with the right balance of prostaglandin-inducing nutrients. These days, however, beginning around 12,000 years ago, actually, as food processing kicked in, our dietary intake of, of the wrong kinds of fats, the wrong kinds of prostaglandins, or out of balance, I should say, prostaglandin-inducing foods has been progressing uh, throughout the years, and it really has been progressing the last couple hundred years. We eat way more of the kinds of foods that induce inflammatory hormones, inflammatory prostaglandins, than anti-inflammatory prostaglandins, and this is partially, mostly actually, where this out of balance, this, this uh, out of kilter relationship between inflammatory inflammatory chemicals and anti-inflammatory chemicals is began, uh, uh, kicks in. The relationship between these chemicals, basically the relationship between omega-6 fats and omega-3 fats, is really about prostaglandins. Without getting too technical and too, chemical, uh, uh, too much chemistry, into too much biochemistry or chemistry, omega-6 fats get converted into inflammatory prostaglandins. Omega-3 fats get converted into anti-inflammatory prostaglandins. Your omega-6 fats are found in grains and seed oils, corn and safflower and soy, the kind of foods most of us are eating these days. Your omega-3s, much rarer, much harder to find, and those are basically in fish and some, uh, uh, some seeds, hemp seed, flax seed, chia seeds. Those are good sources of omega-3s. You'll get some omega-3s in, in uh, spirulina and plankton and seaweed as well. There's some omega-3s in sprouts too. So and back in the day, and by back in the day, I mean 100,000, 150,000, 200,000 years ago, our, our ancestors were eating foods that gave them a kind of balance, an appropriate balance between omega-6s and omega-3s. Over the last 12,000 years or so, as we figured out how to farm and we figured out agriculture, certainly we get more calories and we're not starving. We don't go through famines like we did back in the day. But... What we are doing is we're getting way more omega-6s, omega-6 fatty acids than omega-3 fatty acids, and that ends up causing problems with inflammation. By the way, there's one exception to this omega-6 causes inflammatory chemicals uh, hypothesis or theory, and that is GLA, which we talked about yesterday. GLA is an omega-6 oil, but... GLA actually is responsible for anti-inflammatory processes, under, unlike the other omega-6s. And I'll tell you what I mean when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 855-660-4261 is our number. We'll be back right after this. 
Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. All right, we are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. You'll find a shopping cart up there with all the longevity products, including the Ultimate EFAs, which we've been, we've been talking about here for the last few days. Ultimate EFAs are your main source of prostaglandin building blocks. The Ultimate EFAs will get turned into prostaglandins, and if you use them regularly, you'll help your body make the right balance of prostaglandins. We'll talk about that here in just a sec. You can also find the Healthy Start Pack, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, all the Jordan Rubin products, all up at brightsideben.com. Just pull down on the shopping cart and click on whatever you want to purchase. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And make sure you ask about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, earn some thank you checks for moving the longevity products and turning people on and helping change lives with the longevity products. I've seen lives changing for 17 years. 17 years via the glucogel caps and the tangy tangerine and a healthy start pack, the OsteoFX, now the Beyond OsteoFX, and you can experience the life-changing benefits of the longevity products yourself by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and ask them, uh, tell them you want the healthy start pack which has the Beyond OsteoFX, the Ultimate EFAs, and the Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0. Most folks will notice results within one or two days of beginning the Healthy Start Pack. Results like more energy, results like better sleep, results like weight loss, appetite suppression, weaning off your prescription drugs, results like just feeling better. And that's what a good nutritional supplement program can do for you. And you can find out for yourself by calling the Brightside Ben phone team, 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. Okay. So we're talking fatty acids, essential fatty acids, the relationship to, ba uh, to the balance of inflammation, anti-inflammation, omega-6s, and this is a generalization here. Omega-6s can generally be considered to be inflammatory, not in a bad way, not in a bad way. This is real important because we always talk about inflammation in a bad way. But inflammation also is part of the healing process. In fact, we need more inflammatory chemistry than we do anti-inflammatory chemistry. Inflammatory chemistry is in, involved in, in uh, keeping cuts from, from, from hemorrhaging, from, uh, for closing wounds, for accelerating the healing process. And anti-inflammation, of course, is also important. And it's this relationship or balance between the two that keeps us maximally healthy. It should come as no surprise to anybody who's, who's uh, paying attention to our health crisis in this country, that we are way more inflamed than anti-inflamed. Way, 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 way more inflamed than anti-inflamed. This is partially related to the fact that we get way, way, way more pro-inflammatory fats than anti-inflammatory fats. The anti-inflammatory fats are a little hard to find in nature, but pro-inflammatory fats are all over the place. Omega-6s, as I said, are generally pro-inflammatory, with the exception of GLA, which we spent a lot of time talking about yesterday, gamma-linolenic acid, which is a type of omega-6 fat. It is anti-inflammatory. Uh, they call it the GLA paradox, the fact that GLA is anti-inflammatory, even though most omega-6s are pro-inflammatory. And this pro-inflammatory, causing inflammation, anti-inflammatory uh, anti balance is regulated by prostaglandins. Omegas get turned into prostaglandins. Omegas are your source of prostaglandins, sixes and threes. You got pro, just like you have pro-inflammatory omegas, omega sixes, and anti-inflammatory omegas, you have pro-inflammatory prostaglandins and anti-inflammatory prostaglandins. The prostaglandins that you get from, uh, that are involved in inflammation, you get from omega sixes. With the notable, notable exception, as I say, of GLA, which is anti-inflammatory. The ones that are anti-inflammatory, those are omega-3s. That's why you'll hear nutritionists and dietitians and alternative practitioners uh, talking about uh, too much inflammation as being uh, caused by the ingestion of omega-6-containing oils. Omega-3-containing oils, which are much harder to find, those are, uh, are anti-inflammatory. It's generally understood that we should be getting anywhere from one part, maybe two parts, or three, anywhere from one to three or four parts omega-6s for every one part omega-3. Nobody really knows exactly for sure, but it's somewhere in the vicinity, in the area of uh, uh, 
uh, uh, four, a one to one to uh, four to one ratio, one to one to four to one ratio between omega sixes and omega threes. That's a, an appropriate balance, even though nobody knows exactly how much we need.